Hey guys, it's meteorologist Chris Tomer on this Saturday morning, and let's talk some mountain weather because we got some big totals over the last 24 hours as expected. I had some bullseyes and they delivered, so this is Jackson Hole this morning, 27 inches in 24 hours, 42 inches in 48 hours, and here's the kicker. You still have more snow yet to accumulate today. Um, I'm sure the conditions are outstanding. I hope everyone has a great time up there in the Tetons. All right, Alta. Alta is reporting 13 inches in 24 hours, and you still have additional snow yet to accumulate in the Wasatch. And Steamboat snowed in this morning, 10 inches in 24 hours, 16 and 48, and you still have quite a bit of snow yet to go in the Steamboat area. You can see the camera there looking really good. Look at the, uh, the total count so far on the storm total on the right, uh, 25, 24, 25, so a couple of feet up there through this and again more uh, still coming all right let's look at my uh, let's look at my uh, bullseye my bullet points here so all part of a western pattern pivot the whole thing is sinking to the south with arctic air widespread snow is moving from north to south across the rockies unfortunately this will end as a southern track low but the trend and i actually had to take the numbers down a little bit more even today for southern colorado continue to decrease the numbers the totals Three or four days ago, they were looking big. Now we're looking at probably medium-type uh, accumulation for southern Colorado. We'll have those coming up with a specialty map. And the northeast, not looking at big totals over the next eight, nine days, probably uh, with just two to three different clippers. So pretty light accumulations. I'll get into all that. I want to take you back and show you what the pattern is right now. So here's water vapor. This is, uh, this is showing you oranges and red colors represent drier air. So let me just mark the big features here. Um, there's a big low, another low coming around the horn, um, a low right here moving. Now that's the big low across the west. Um, so let me just kind of mark, there's your jet arcing up, and then your big trough, which is settling in across the west. There's a high pressure somewhere in here and it's retrograding. So it's moving in this direction, opening up the trough with lower pressures and all that cold air is diving to the south. So we're getting widespread snow and cold air, good ratios in a lot of places. So that's the setup right now. I actually talked all about this, just published this a few minutes ago on my blog, chrystomer.com, Western snow, pattern pivot. Um, talked about the setup. There's the forecast pattern with the jet. Now this gets me into my next topic here. Um, so let me take it full. There's your 2.6 jet. Notice the trough. There's a low swinging through the west. So there's going to be a quiet period, 2.1 through about 2.4 across the west. Not much is going to happen across the Rockies, except if you're in the Pacific Northwest, B.C., Washington State areas. And I've got a forecast for Baker coming up. You're going to get a pretty good shot of snow. But for most of the Rockies, a quiet period, 2.1 through 2.4. Then this dip in the jet moves through on 2.6, so things turn more active, 2.5, 2.6, 2.7. All right, back to this on the blogs. I talked about the quiet period, talked about the active period. Now, Mount Baker has a pretty good shot of moisture coming, 2.3 through 2.6. And this is really by request. I had an email come in about Baker. 2-3, you can see uh, 9, a 12 on 2-4, another 12 on 2-5, and then 6 on 2-6. So looking at about 39 inches of snow for Baker during that time period. That's one of the areas, including Whistler, that will benefit uh, while most of the Rockies stay dry during that period. So Baker looks good. All right, let's talk about timing. Forecast radar and satellite, there's Sunday morning. Whole thing's pivoting south. Monday morning. Southern track low takes shape, but there's not a lot to it. Tuesday morning, and then there's Wednesday, quiet period across most of the Rockies, and that continues all the way through probably to 2-4. But notice the next area of precips lining up for the Pacific Northwest. That comes in 2-3, 2-4, 2-5, 2-6 for P&W and Washington State, B.C. All right, so take a look at that. That's on the web. That's on my site. All right, let's go into uh, totals. Let's go into totals here, and this is period one. So all of today through the 30th, um, still a lot of snow to yet to uh, to come down at Steamboat, northern northern mountains of Colorado, Cameron Pass, another foot at least, maybe more um, across the I-70 corridor, anywhere from four to 12. 
Notice the numbers in the Southern Rockies, and I'll do a zoom of this in a second, but really not that big. Another seven to eight for the Tetons on top of what you've already had. So you're going to end up with 50 inches in Jackson Hole out of this thing. Another six for uh, the Wasatch that'll put you at about 20 for a grand total. So that's period one. Here's period two, 131 through 26. Um, and look at the big numbers in the Pacific Northwest BC. Two feet Whistler, three feet Baker. Um, another six to seven for the Tetons, a few more for the Wasatch, another two to six in Colorado, 131 through 26. All right, a few specialty maps here. So with Zoom, these are grand totals of the central and northern mountains of Colorado. Um, I-70 corridor, 128 through 26. Again, I-70 corridor, anywhere from like 4 to 10, 4 to 12, but potentially a foot or more, 1 to 2 feet for the northern mountains. All right, southern mountains. Interesting story with the trend definitely um, with lower totals over time. Now looking at about 6 to 12. At one point was thinking 1 to 2 feet. That's just not going to happen now. The southern track low, um, the intensity is in the track are just not as good. Um, so Wolf Creek to Silverton to tell you right there. All right, so the northeast, two to six inches, two to eight inches, somewhere in there. And that's over about a nine day period with two to three different clippers. So definitely not looking at big totals for the northeast. All right, guys, thanks for tuning in here. Have a uh, great Saturday, great weekend overall, and enjoy all that new snow through the interior Rockies. Take care.